Hey guys, so I just made a video um about my makeup. <laughs> and yeah. So now I'm just gonna sit here and talk about myself for a while. To give you an update on my life. So Yeah, that's it. That's my life. Absolutely nothing. Did you see you didn't see that, but like my phone, like I just like just now when I was talking to you. It was like, it fell out of my hand, and then it was like, doing this like crazy jumping thing, and it landed right in my lap. Perfect. Yep, my lap is a good catcher. <laughs> um. Oh, so as far as, um, life goes. So, I'm going into, um, ninth grade, so high school, and, um, I want to go to Florida High School really bad, because a lot of my friends are going there. And it's a, just a better school overall. And I've been in Fullerton School District, like, since 6th grade, so there would really be no point in, like, the past three years if I'm just going to go to a crappy Anaheim school. So I really want to get into Fullerton, but if I can't because of my grades and because I'm an outer district transfer, I'm from Anaheim, then I'm going to end up in Anaheim High School, which actually won't be that bad because, I mean, I'll make me friends anyways. And it's really close to my house. I can walk there in like five minutes, but still, I'd rather go to the Fullerton. But worst case, if I go to Anaheim, it won't be that bad. I'll j I'll make it work. Some trolls might want to kick my ass, but that's about as far as that goes. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that's how that is. But um, I actually I'm supposed to have like a meeting. Hold on. My mom so I kind of have to leave. So I actually have an interview or like a meeting or something with the principal of Fortune High School or something like that. Who is somebody important. I don't know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> and yeah, we'll see how that goes. So maybe they'll let me in. Maybe not. I really hope they will. But I kind of doubt it. <laughs> so um, I am really hoping. But I'm not going to get my hopes up. You know what I mean? Well, that doesn't make any sense. But anyways, I'm being prepared for the worst. Which would be me being, being, um, uh, meh. I forgot what I was going to say. And, um, yeah. So, that's the whole school situation. Um, dating-wise... That's what's going on for me. I mean, I was talking about the last um, video. But, yeah. But, you know, I'm going to a new school this year as soon as summer's over, so we'll see. You know, I might meet someone or things might happen during the summer. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, it's not like I really need a boyfriend or a girlfriend. It's just that I really want one. Not even so... I mean... I say girlfriend because I'm not picky. And I wouldn't mind dating a girl. But I'm actually... I like boys more than I like girls. I don't not... I mean, I like girls. In, like, lesbian kind of way. But... I like boys a lot more. <laughs> a lot more. Um... But, I don't know. I have complicated feelings for this one person. Who is a girl. And, I don't know, I don't really want to get into it, but, <laughs> anyways, I would like a boyfriend or girlfriend. I don't need one, but I really want one. <laughs> um, preferably a cute little emo boy, but, you know, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and hopefully I'm going to be re my hair pretty soon, um, because... 
I want to redye it. I'm not sure what color though, I'm thinking like magenta or purple or something. I don't know if I could pull off purple, so I don't know. But I guess if I really wanted to, I could pull off any color. I kind of want to do aqua, that didn't work out for me last time. But, yeah, and my mom won't let me bleach my hair. I mean, it's not that she doesn't, not that she won't let me, it's just that she doesn't know how to do it. And neither do I, because I've never done it before, and she hasn't. And it kind of freaks her out to have us, like, bleaching my hair if we don't know what we're doing, you know? She's afraid to do it for the first time, because she doesn't want to, like, you know, kill my hair. Make it all fall out and have me be a bald kid, I don't know. So... <laughs> and I'm not really scared to do it myself, but she won't buy it from me for me to do it myself. And I understand why. I shouldn't be doing it myself. But... I want it bleached. And I could ask a friend, but... When are we ever gonna... When am I ever gonna have time... To, like... Go to my friend's house and, like... Have her... Or... Them... Whichever one, because twins. Have them bleach it for me. I don't know. Never. And most of the time, I dye my own hair... Um, because my mom is too late, she doesn't want to. I don't blame her, because it's a lot of work. So I always end up doing it myself, and it looks crappy, but it's good for me. I mean, it's better than nothing. And I'm not really picky-choosy about it. Of course, I'd love to have perfect hair. But if okay is the best I'll get, I'm taking it. You know what I mean? I'd rather have my hair blue and then have still have, like, my golden blonde roots... Um, still, and have it look kind of like, eh, well, she tried, you know, it looks okay from afar, <laughs> then just have, like, eh, there's her golden hair. That's pretty. And actually, I think that my golden hair is pretty naturally. I mean, my natural hair is pretty on me, because it's natural, it's supposed to be that way. <laughs> but it's not what I want, because I want to be different, and I want to, like, have my hair crazy colors, because that's how I like myself. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the whole situation with that. But, um, oh, also, bleach is expensive, so that's why she kind of doesn't want to get the bleach and then the dye, because after both of those is expensive. Especially because I have such thick hair that I have to buy two of each dye that I use. <laughs> so it's, like, double. But I tried to thin out my hair so that it's, like, more, like, big on the top and like, thin on the bottom, kind of, like, seen, emo, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it doesn't look like it right now because it's not straightened. I actually curled my hair yesterday because I went to a baby shower. I wanted to be all cutesy and pretty and girly for once. Um, so I just curled my hair and, like, like post, like, I, like, doused it in hairspray. And I haven't showered yet because I'm too lazy. So my hair is, like, poofy and hairspray-y and wavy right now because I didn't straighten it. But usually it's, like, there on the bottom. It's, like, that kind of shape. I don't know. I still gotta thin it out again, though, because my mom won't buy me one of those comb razor things. I mean, maybe eventually she will, but she's like, you can have, like, do chores and get an allowance or something. I'm like, she won't give me an allowance if I do chores, so. Um, so I actually just use, like, a regular, like, razor, like, for, like, like shaving, whatever you do with those. <laughs> just kidding, yeah. Um, just a regular, like, shaving razor. Like a lady chic little crappy plastic one but if you get it when it's like brand new and it's like really sharp then it works not as well but it's good enough for me <laughs> since I don't really have money to get anything better um and yeah that's that and but pretty much soon I'll be going back to school shopping because my mom takes me every year so um in August where did I go I don't know there I am oh. um so in August, after our vacation, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna go, um, after school shopping. I'm probably gonna get a bunch of jeans and then t-shirts, but, um, at Hot Topic right now, the one at the block at least, they have, like, skirts for 20 it's 19.99, and I'm like, okay, I need one of those, so, <laughs> because my, um, plaid skirt, it's like red plaid, um, like the zipper broke, and I'll show you right there. Okay, it's plaid.
plaid, like that. So, the, like, the way it works, it's inside out. It's like shorts, and you zip it up, and then you tie this around, and then it looks like a skirt. But the zipper, like, broke and completely, like, fell off, and then the, like, seams down here broke too. So I have to, like, safety pin it. And then point it inwards. So at random times in the day, it'll like unpin and start stabbing me in the leg at the JJ and stuff. Doesn't feel good. So I never wear this one anymore because, you know, a safety pin in the leg and JJ does not feel good. And nobody wants that. So. <laughs> Julia's not having kids in me. <laughs> uh um. Yeah, so hopefully I'll get one of those, and I'm supposed to hang out with my friends on Friday, but I kind of don't want to. I mean, like, I've been so lazy the past summer that, like, I want to get out of the house and do stuff, but I'm too lazy to actually, like, like, get up and do stuff. Like, once I'm out doing stuff, I'm happy that I'm doing things, but I'm so lazy that I don't even, like, even though I want to do stuff, I, like, won't take the opportunity to do it, because I just don't want to make the effort and I go on the computer so much that it's not even fun anymore I don't even know if I can do it like tumblr is boring tumblr is boring for me and <laughs> tumblr is like wonderland but with more like controversial things I don't know <laughs> it's boring because it's such um, a habitual thing now that it's like I'm desensitized to it it's just like oh going on tumblr I'm bored on the computer. And that's my only companion for, like, the summer, pretty much. Unless I go out and do stuff, which I'm too lazy to do. And plus, I don't really have the money or the transportation other than the bus. There are only so many places I can go on the bus. I'm not, like, a bus expert. I can only go to, like, Brea Mall and downtown Fullerton and my school. And that's that. And I don't even go to that school anymore, so it's, like, two places. Um, or I could go to the library, but I don't know what happened to my library card, even though I got a new one. I had one, and then I lost it, and then I bought a new one, and then I found the old one, and then I lost both of them, and I don't know, I don't even know. I could go to Disneyland, I could take the bus there too, I know how to get there, but why would I want to go to Disneyland alone? In the summer, during the day, when it's like super hot. Why? Why would I want to go to Disneyland alone? Like, my cousin Alex, he lives here on the weekends. He's never here during the week. During the week is when I'm bored, because everyone's home on weekends. And then it's like, I'm so used to being home alone, that when people come home, I turn into a total bitch. I'm like, get out of my cave! You know what I mean? Like, I don't... I don't want people here. Like, I would want people here during the day, because I'm so lonely... But then I'm so used to being, like, lonely that when people come here, I, I get really, like, stressed out and, like, upset and, like, bitchy. And my mom was like, she'll come home, she'll be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Are you PMSing? And, like, it's because there's so many people home. All of a sudden, I've been home all day, every day, for, like, the whole summer so far. And then, like, at that time during the day, everyone comes home from work and... They pick up Emily from daycare, my old sister. And suddenly there's, like, a four-year-old here, a three-year-old here, and then a bunch of, like, crabby adults. And they're all, because they're all crabby, because they just got home from work. And then it's not fair to them to have me be, like, crabby towards them, because they just got home. I mean, I wasn't fighting with them or anything, so then I kind of feel bad, because I'm like, well, they've been working all day, and they come home to this bitch. But I can't help it because I'm still pissed and I'm like, well, been doing nothing all day, which some people would love, but for me, since I have it, of course, I don't like it. If I didn't have it, of course, I would want it because that's the way the world works. I'm home all day, bored out of my fucking mind, and then people come home and they're all angry and stressed from work and they're like, Julia, do this, Julia, do that, and I'm not used to doing shit. I'm fucking lazy as fuck. I'm a spoiled brat. And then I'm like... 
everyone comes home in like a half hour time span and I'm overwhelmed by all these crabby freaks. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, <laughs> so then we're all just unhappy campers. Yeah. So that's my story. Um, and I don't know where my phone went. Nobody's texting me. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Um, my pinky hurts right here, and I don't know why. It's not red or anything, but it feels like I, like, burned it or something, and I didn't burn it. Don't know what I would burn it on. Unless it is sunburned. What if it's sunburned? What if I got sunburned on my pinky? Yeah, while I'm inside doing nothing all day. Hmm. Actually, I was playing with... Actually, I had, a, I had a pretty productive day today, considering what I usually don't do. <laughs> um, usually I just sit around and watch TV or go on the computer or whatever. Or literally just, like, sit there spacing out while I'm listening to music. Um. But today, I went over to, um, my uncle's house, because he lives right behind me. There's, like, a gate. Um. There's, like, a door gate in between our fence. In our fence. So you can, like, go from my backyard to his backyard. Um. And. Hung out with him for a few minutes. Played with a silly putty. <laughs> And then came back home, no, I went with him to Walgreens to get his dog's um, medication. He's two huge Great Danes. Um, and then I came back home, hung out for a while. My mom came home for like ten minutes and had like crackers and then left. And then I went to the flame broiler and got one of those chicken bowl things. Never had one of those. It was okay. Maybe it was pretty good. It was free lunch because my aunt paid for it. My aunt's not married to my uncle. She, cause my uncle is gay. <laughs> She's our friend. Actually, both of them aren't really related to me at all. They're just friends of my parents, but I've known them my whole life, so we just make it easier by saying aunt and uncle. Because my cousin Alex, he's not my cousin either. He's just my stepdad's best friend's son. So, he's Uncle Jake, and his son's Alex. And, yeah, that's just the way we explain things. Actually, we don't explain things. It's too much work to explain things. So, I just, like call it whatever, um, and my living situation is kind of complicated too, uh, but, yeah, that's how that works, so I went to there, and then I came home, and here I am, and I'm a huge Andy Beersack fan, Batmandy, oh yeah, I found my hat today, my really old hat, it says, um, it's like one of those, like, ones with, like, the really big, like, bill thing, whatever it's called, and people, like, write on them, um, and it has written on it, my heart belongs to Andy Six, like, the number six. That was back when Andy Beersack was little Andy Six. I'm like, oh, my little Andy, what happened to him? I don't know, I fucking love him. I'm marrying him when I grow up. If I don't marry him when I grow up, the world will end. <sighs> Actually, I think he might be getting married soon, because him and his girlfriend, Juliet Sims, are getting pretty serious. But, you know, I mean, I'm jealous, but good for them. I mean, seriously. They've been together for, like, who knows how long. Like, maybe two years? I don't know. But she has a tattoo of him right here that says Andy. I mean, it's not a tattoo of him, but she's a tattoo right here that says Andy. They're getting pretty serious. He better propose to her soon, or he's going to sleep on the couch. Or whatever. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> and, like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I personally think Andy can pull off, like, any style. He went through, like, four different styles, pretty much. He went through the knives and pens style that video. He went through that, um, he was, was kind of like the cute little emo boy for a while. And then he, like, grew his hair out and, like, turned into, like, a total rock star. And he had his, like, long hair. That was pretty hot, too. And then, um, he went through, like, a misfits kind of guy phase with, like, his hair that was kind of, like, over. That, and with his vests and stuff, that was pretty hot. He pulled off that. And now he's in his really short hair phase where he just kind of spikes it and does that, like, line thing. Still hot. Still the sexiest man alive. I don't know how he does it. <sighs> yeah. 
He's a good kid. He's nice. I mean, he's only six years older than me, so if he can wait, like, four years when I'm 18, I'm marrying him. Yep. Unless he marries Juliet Sims first, then okay. Well, I'll be a little upset, but I'll be happy for him, too. Happy for them. So, yeah. That's about it. That's my update for now. Also, I, um, started to learn make, how to make candy bracelets. I don't know if mine is here or not, but it's, like, pink and has, like, red blood drops and stuff. So, yeah. And, um, while I can only record so much and without my memory getting full, so I'm going to stop now because it's been almost 21 minutes. So, bye.